Hello everyone and welcome to another GeoDev video. This video is on styling vector tiles and we're talking about two separate applications, um, both with different purposes. So the first application I'm going to be talking about is Map Styler. So Map Styler is an application that in summary is built to just style the color of a base map. It does this in two different ways. The first way is by styling a map based on a picture that's imported to the application. There's a couple sample images already attached to the application. Um, this just gives you a quick idea of what it actually does. So if you can notice, it actually picks out some dominant colors inside the image and then just attaches it to the base map itself. And, and behind the scenes creates a nice little soft gradient in between those colors. Um, and it does work with your custom images. So if you just drag in an image either from online or from your local drive into this application, then it will automatically style the, the base map itself. And if you're not happy with the first style it picks out, you can actually use this shuffle button and it'll shuffle the colors um, that is found in the image. Um, if you're again not happy with that, then you can actually just select the colors manually and change those to, to make the base map look exactly how you wanted it to look. The, the real power from this um, comes with how easy it is just to style a base map. So we've seen this being used with um, things like company logos or let's say a sports team logo. If you just drag it in, if you're doing a map about them, it really adds an extra um, level of customization to, to the map. And all you have to do once you've created your base map is just save this and it will go straight into your ArcGIS Online account. So the second application is the ArcGIS Vector Tile Style Editor. This is what the application looks like when you first open it. Um, you're greeted with um, basically a, a bunch of different vector base maps. Now these are all going to be used for um, a potential starting point. So if you already have a style in mind that you want to create for a base map, it's definitely worth looking through all of the different tabs you've got at the top of this um, at this starting screen here uh, and selecting the base maps that's closest to what you're already looking for because this can just be used as your base for when you start editing. And note that there's some really interesting base maps already created here um, in the creative tab. Um, so there's some interesting styles that go above and beyond the previous application map styler. So you can add things like patterns and also change the fonts in, in this application. But just as a sample demo, I'm actually just going to select the dark gray canvas base map. Now, when you first open the application, the default menu that will be open is something called the quick edit on the left-hand side. Here's where you go if you literally just want to quickly edit the whole style of the, the base map. Now, there's also some font options at the bottom, so we can change the fonts. Again, this is for the whole world, um, just the bottom here, and also some label contrasting options. So if you want your text uh, to potentially to pop, then this is where you change it here. Or sometimes you'd want um, your labels on your map to just be a little bit more subtle. So you can change that type of functionality in the first quick edit menu. Now, before I continue to talk about the next options on the left hand side, I thought I'd actually just uh, point out why there is four different views on the right hand side. Uh, now, the reason we've got different views on the right hand side is actually they're at different zoom levels. So notice I'm at 3, 5, 9 and 14. Now, this is actually quite critical when styling a base map because you can potentially change the style based on what zoom level you're on. So these windows are pretty much there just to remind you, actually, if you're changing some stuff that you think you're changing on a specific layer, actually, when you potentially will zoom in or out, the style will be completely different. So that's just a reminder that, um, you know, when you do change things, make sure you're changing them at all different zoom levels. Um, so everything we've done on the quick edit menu will change everything. But the next layers I'm going to be talking about now um, will be changing specific layers at specific zoom levels. So the next tab that I'm walking through quickly here is the Layers tab. And you get the ability to specifically customize uh, certain features. So if I've just selected F, what isn't it, the sample here. Um, under, under Land, I can potentially change the color, or I can go into specific, let's say an airport property. Um, and I could do things like add a pattern to that, so I could add a um, diagonal line pattern to all airports, and it would assign that to the map itself. 
Now I'm not going to go through every single one of these um, options in the layer window, but what I will do is um, if I zoom in on this map now, I'm going to select the label where it says English ch Channel. Now once I've clicked, notice that on the left hand side it's actually picked up that I've selected a label. So in, in my opinion, one of the most powerful things about the Vector Tile Style Editor is that you can just click on elements to style them. So if I just wanted to change the labels in that specific layer, um, so I can potentially have two different font types happening in, in one map, all I have to do is select it and then change the font type here. Um, and even you get the ability to add a little icon to a font as well. So if you've got a specific label, you can add a little image next to that. An example for that would be um, this sketch base map, they use a nice little pin icon to symbolize um, labels that they want to be a little bit more dominant. So things like cities, um, they want a, more of a red type of pin for that. Cool. Now the last few tabs, um, the first one is edit by color. So this is really useful once you start to have your own catalog of creative base maps. Um, um, so all it does is find and replace. So it finds colors with the shade you're looking for and you replace it with another color. And then we've got the icons as I mentioned previously. Um, that's all available in this edit icons pattern uh, tab. But um, it is worth noting that you need to save the style to your Artist Online account before you start editing the icons here. And then the same with the previous application, all you need to do now is save this into your Arches Online and it'll be a style file that you can then attach to your applications. If you really did want to have full customization options, I thought I'd give this a little plug at the end. Um, ArcGIS Pro, the desktop application that Esri provides, is the best way to do that. Um, but these two applications I've just mentioned now are free. They're available in the web. They're, they're really easy to get started and gives you a, a full range of customization options. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, please just leave a comment down below. Uh, and also, if you're interested in more Geodev videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and goodbye.